What's up, y'all? My name is Linda J. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please be sure to click that subscribe button before you go. And if you are already a part of the family, then welcome back. So I've had these braids in. That's a lie. I've had these faux locks in for about three months. And it's, it's, it's time. So, I don't know if you can tell, but the dirt is building up right here and it's just slipping out. Yeah, you can definitely tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them down and I'm gonna fast forward through the whole process because there's not much to see. And then I'm gonna show you how I detangle my hair because I know my hair is really knotted with the dirt and everything that's building up, the shedded skin, etc. So I'm gonna show you how I do that as well, but you have to wait for later on to see that. So here we go.
right, we are done. Let me zoom out just a little bit so that I can give you a little bit of a length check. You guys have to forgive me, but I cut my hair back in June or July, I believe it was July of 2019, and I filmed that video and I never posted it, so there's nothing for you guys to compare my length to unless I put that video in this video and compare. But I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Anyway, I'm gonna give you guys a length check. Where are we? We are nipple length. Well, maybe like a few centimeters off. We're definitely nipple length right here. In the middle. Okay. So, I'm gonna just say a little past bra length. I'm not doing that again. I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm not gonna take these twists out because Oh, I should show, I was gonna show you how I do this, okay. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I, I'm gonna change, okay, get it together, get it together. I'm gonna change my shirt because it's white and I know this dirt is about to be something else. I'm gonna change my shirt and show you guys how I detangle my hair through all this buildup and then I'll be right back. I have my handy dandy water bottle just to spray each twist. It's gonna be a little um, tedious and it's going to be time consuming because I just wanna wash my hair in these twists. So what I'm gonna do is spray each twist and detangle one by one, twist them back up, and then go wash my hair. I'm mostly focused on spraying this area right here, but I am gonna go ahead and spray the whole twist. So from the bottom, I'm gonna untwist it and I'm gonna be careful because I don't want any knots. If I do get any knots, I do have shears with me right here. During these past three months, there's been no oil, no moisturizer, no leave-in conditioner. There's been no product that's touched my hair at all and that's really not good. So I'm expecting a good amount of shedding because usually when I do wear protective styles, I moisturize my scalp with Jamaican or Haitian black castor oil because that helps a lot with growth. <sighs> all right, y'all, I'm so exhausted, my shirt. All right, anyway, I've done all of my head. Um, there's one more left, it's this one, and I'm about to show you what I came up with on camera. The blinds are up and that's creepy. But basically what I did was, rule number one, do not go through this process without making sure your hair is wet before detangling, I mean, that's just, Definitely, definitely, definitely wet your hair before you detangle. I think I've already said that. Okay, let's move on. What I do is, this is already wet, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna spray it just to show you that it's wet. <laughs> and then untwist it from the bottom up. Now when you get up here, this is build up. This is called build up. What you're gonna do is pick one section. You're not gonna do both at once. I don't do both at once. I pick one and I start to detangle that one. Okay, that section is detangled, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my conditioner, squirt just a tad bit into my fingers, and my fingers are so pruny, and apply it to that section that I just detangled. All right, we're gonna push that one to the side. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the other section that you did not detangle. Okay. 
So then I'm going to take my wide tooth comb and comb through both of those sections. I'm not splitting them. I put them together so that I can cut down some time. So I'm gently going over the area where there's buildup to kind of help loosen that up a little bit before I rinse this out. What I'm not going to show you on camera is I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm just going to put my head into the sink and rinse this out, right? That's going to be one rinse. Then I'm going to add more conditioner to the root and I'm going to go like this. Note how I'm applying pressure to the area where there's buildup. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna end up on your hand, your hand, like this conditioner is white, but when you do that, my, or when I do that, my conditioner ends up brown because there's so much dirt and nastiness in there. So that's when you know you've got it. And the reason why I do that is because the, the buildup is really, I would say like anywhere from 70 to 80% gone so that when I go to shampoo my hair I'll show you it's like it takes a lot less time so this is the side that's been shampooed I don't really know if I did well or not because it really was like super quick I have to wash my hair again in a few days for another campaign so I'm really not concerned with how well it's clean but this looks pretty darn clean to me very clean and it only took about 10 minutes to do that. So if I sat in the bathroom and shampooed my hair with all that buildup, it would take me forever. So this is a lot easier for me. And again, less breakage, less damage to my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna shampoo it off of camera and I will probably see you guys in my next video. So if you are not subscribed, once again, please click that subscribe button before you go. And if you are already a part of the family, thank you so much for tuning in again. I'll see you guys soon.